What's up, YouTube? <laughs> What's in the case? What's in the case? What's in the case? It's Christmas. What's in the case? It's not Christmas. It's like March. It's cold. I did do a shot video today, but I'm not posting it. I just I accidentally hit stuff. I'm not messing around with the uh, with editing, and I, I just don't have the time tonight. So you're going to have to wait for that. Um, but what's in the case? Ha ha. Let's take a look. All right, the Rex bug out. So, what do we have here? We got the Rex P50. Yahoo! Nice. We got the Donny FL Emperor. We have the Ronin. We have the ATN, and we have the Tory Pines T12W. Uh, in the case so this is the bug out case so just fyi um last video that i did shooting the rex for the first time uh after i zeroed it, it was the second time i did happen to come across that pellet that i was looking for um so for all you guys out there who wanted to know what it looked like well there you go just uh yeah just ripped it apart didn't it so today I was going to show you the case and you know I actually did two shots they were uh, off the paper they were straight in line I did the Bulldog 357 I did the Rex and uh, unfortunately uh, they were both accurate to the center line but uh, the uh, the Bulldog was high uh, because I did not zero the sight for the Bulldog, you could have uh, saved configuration for the ATN, and I was shooting with the uh, with the uh, Rex, which has a little more of a drop because of the heavier weight of the pellet than the Bulldog does. The Bulldog is actually also a lighter pellet, but 357, but it's also traveling over 900 feet per second. So uh, when you zero with the Rex, the Rex is shooting maybe an inch and a half low at the distance that I was shooting today, which was about 70 yards. Um, and it, it had about a two inch drop uh, with the setting and of course with the bulldog it was two inches high um, and the bulldog of, of course penetrated through the metal um, as I expected I did find some wreck shots that I have done during the week um, and that's where uh, one of the pellets came from one of the other shots that I did funny if you watch my other video <laughs> I picked up the uh, blue tray uh, that I use for oil changes in my mower, and I said, you know, uh, let's see if it went through this, and nope, it didn't, but needless to say, if you watch the video again, you'll see the whole side of the plastic missing. Uh, I completely missed that, and of course, when I dug around, I really wanted to find that pellet, and there she is. <laughs> That's what's left of it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the exploding pellets actually work really well. Um, they're very simple, I, I, I think. I drilled one. Uh, it's just basically uh, German black. It, it's basically gunpowder from a salute by the looks of it. It was very fine. And then they coated it uh, with, I, I'm not really sure what it was, but it was hard. It was powdery. It was white. It almost looked like wall, uh, wall plaster, probably what it was. But it did explode. One of them did explode, and it blew the, the paper apart uh, when it hit. So... Yeah, it, it wasn't something that I would use. Um, I just thought it was neat. Um, I wanted to see more of a, you know, a little bit more of an impact, a little bit flash, a little bang, a little glitter. Um, you know, but really didn't get that. It just blew the paper apart. So I'll make a new video of the uh, comparison between the Rex and the Bulldog. Uh, but today it was just about the, uh, the case and the uh, found pellet. Thanks.